Hi and welcome to this video. This is a tour of the Hard Rock Hotel at Universal Orlando. We're standing out in the front by where you enter the west parking area. So you can see the grounds here are really pretty. If you are parking a vehicle, you can park right in here. And um, here's a little tip. When you show up, if you're not going to valet, go ahead and park and grab a ticket and then you'll just never use that ticket because when you leave you will um, just use your room key so you can do that at any of the universal hotels and it's just easier here we just have the entrance there's a fairly large hotel so there are two parking lots east side and a west side we happen to guess correctly and park on the correct side so when you walk in on the left here, you have luggage services, the concierge, and there is an Avis rental car. On the right, you have the check-in area. Really large lobby area. We're here during Halloween Horror Night, so there is signage for that everywhere. It's like a really large sitting area over here. There's a lot of memorabilia we'll run over here and look at some of these things really quick so if you go to the left from the main lo lobby area you will find the gift shop and like I said there's tons tons and tons of photos and guitars and clothing it's a really fun hotel just like all the other Universal Hotels, there are things you can only buy here. Um, the kitchen, the main restaurant is down there. And then over here um, are the elevators where you can get down to the pool and a few other things. From the right of the lobby, we have the Velvet Bar. It is not open right now because it's eight o'clock in the morning, <laughs> but I wanted to come over here. We're still over to the right of the lobby. We have the business center here, and then um, the Palm Restaurant, which is one of the most popular restaurants here. That is just downstairs. And then if you go down this little hallway right over here, they have all the event spaces. So if you were to have a business event or a destination wedding or anything like that, I think this would be a really nice hotel for a destination wedding if you are universal fans so they have some ballrooms here as well as a boardroom all the way down so we're on the left side of the lobby you can go down to the kitchen which is the main restaurant there's also a starbucks um a ice cream store a couple other things right down here you can also access the pool down here i was hoping to wake up earlier to do this uh, this tour and then this is the one day of the entire trip that I slept in so it's already a little bit busy but that's okay this is also where you walk down for the shuttle bus and the water taxi so we're downstairs we have the kitchen here which serves breakfast lunch and dinner we have Emac and Bolio's marketplace which has ice cream and then all kinds of snacks we have the elevators right here and then the store takes you to the water taxi and the shuttle bus. But if you go straight out here, you can go to the pool area. So that's where we're gonna go right now because it's not open yet. So of everything we're gonna look at today, this shouldn't be that busy, hopefully. And I will actually come out to the pool area later to show more. But for right now, I just wanted to show how you get here. Here's some of the menus for the kitchen. They do have vegan and vegetarian options as well as a pretty extensive wine list. So just telling a little bit more about the ice cream and snack shop. No snacks? Showing 
some of the options here in the snack shop if you want something quick. They also have floaties down here for the pool. And there's some pool toys. Coffee. I'm going into Body Rock right now, which is the gym. It's right by the water taxi um, exit on the first floor. I'm always really careful of gyms. I don't want to film people working out, but I just wanted to kind of show a little bit of what they have in here. So it's a little bit underwhelming if I'm being honest. It's not one of the more impressive gyms that Universal has, but um, but they do have it and have a few things here. So if you do like to work out on your vacation beyond all the walking that you're gonna do at the parks, you can certainly do that here. So here we are at the pool at the Hard Rock. Right when you come in on your left, you can grab some towels. Also have some water, some flavored water. There are cabana rentals all around the pool. You can just ask about those if that's something you'd like to do if you're having a birthday or a special occasion. So one of the really unique things about the pool here at the Hard Rock is that it does play music underwater. So that's a pretty cool feature that you definitely don't have at the other universal pools. There's lots of little splash areas here. I'll just take you around the pool and show you the different things. This is definitely one of the benefits of the Hard Rock is this really, really awesome pool. There are a lot of little splash areas around here. There are also two hot tubs. There's one here right by the main pool area. It is for all ages. And then there's a kiddie pool right over here. There's a bunch of cabanas nearby. So if you do rent one of the private cabanas, you can, uh, just hang out in the cabana in the shade and watch your kids play right here in the kiddie pool. Kind of pan around a little bit. You can see Beach Club, which is one of the restaurants. Kind of do a little bit of a walk and talk, but one thing that I do talk about pretty often when it comes to any universal hotel, but particularly Hard Rock, is that if you get a pool room, pool view room, keep in mind, it's gonna be louder. It's gonna be pretty loud. So I always just like to point that out. And right up here at the top, we have the adults only hot tub. And if you um, walk up here behind the adults only hot tub, you can kind of look down and see the slide and the volleyball area and then the guitar are any other millennials having like a major flashback with this song Never wear them well the next day And your hair never falls in quite the same way You never seem to run out of things to say This is the story of a girl Who cried a river and drowned the whole world I'm gonna stop now, okay? We have the beach club right here You can eat here uh, it's a bar as well, and if you're just hanging around the pool, there's plenty of servers that'll come over and take your order. This music was my jam. Yeah, 
I don't know how long I was talking and not recording. So this is the garden walk right here. Um, if you go the other way, you'll go to Portofino Bay. That's the water taxi right there. My camera fogged up when I walked outside. It's very cold inside and very muggy out here today. But one thing, and here's the hard rock right here again. One thing I definitely wanted to show one of our favorite parts of the hard rock is the butterfly garden. So you walk through this on the garden walk. You can also check this out if you're staying at Portofino Bay. Butterfly garden. It's so pretty. It's just a little really beautiful area and you will see lots of butterflies here. And as a bonus, it is a shortcut. So, as I was saying, the, one of the bonuses of staying at the Hard Rock is that it is the closest to City Walk. So, it's a really short walk, just a few minutes, and you can walk right into City Walk, right by the gates at Universal Studios. So, that's definitely a bonus if you don't mind a short little walk in the morning. You can walk right over here. That's what we're doing this morning because I wanted to record the Butterfly Garden and just a little bit of the garden walk. But, overall, we've really, really really enjoyed the hotel. We didn't get to stay for very long. We're actually um, ready to check out, but this is our last day. Um, so far, highly recommend it. So one question that I do get asked pretty often when it comes to Universal is, is it really worth it to stay? I'm trying to find some shade. There we go, kind of. Is it really worth it to stay in a premier resort versus the cheaper resorts? And the answer, Shade. Oh my goodness, the lighting is terrible. Okay, and the answer is honestly, it depends. Um, the Express Pass is really nice. Um, so there's that. You can go quicker through the lines. Um, it's not immediately getting onto the rides, but it is quicker for sure. So that's a really nice feature to have. And then the other thing is um, they're just nicer. <laughs> the beds are more comfortable. Um, and you have a little bit more amenities. So overall, yes it is, um, but it just depends on your budget. Another thing that I don't know if I mentioned, but when you stay at Hard Rock or any of the other premier resorts, your room key does act as your express pass. So make sure you keep that on you at all times. This is why I say always have a lanyard. I have a blog post about that. I'll link it down below um, with some of my favorite lanyards. I know that sounds silly, but seriously, you're gonna wanna have one. The sign says no jogging beyond this point. Not a problem for me, I wasn't gonna jog anyway. Here is the hard rock guitar <laughs> from the back side. So the entrance for Universal Studios is right there. This is how close, so this is right by the pool. I'll show it from the other side, but this is how close Hard Rock Hotel is to CityWalk. 